Hello, Year Ones. Today in English, we are going to focus on comprehension and um, as well as our retrieval skills, which is one of our Vipers that we looked at last time, our big focus today is all about sentence structure and how we answer comprehension questions. So let me share my screen and you'll be able to see that today our focus is going to be all to do with the sense of hearing, which I know you've done some work on in um, science. So I'm going to read the first part to you and then we're going to look at the first couple of questions and how we would answer those. So our title here is Sense of Hearing. Our ears give us the ability to hear sounds from things all around us. We can hear high sounds like a bird singing and low sounds like a dog barking. We can also tell where sounds are coming from. Our sense of hearing works by trapping sounds in our ears, which our brains then work out. If I move this down very slightly, there is then a diagram and that diagram is labeled with all the parts of the ear, the outer ear, middle ear and inner ear. And then there are subheadings with those labels which we'll explain a little bit more. Outer ear. This is the bit you can see. It sends sounds into the ear down the ear canal to the eardrum. Middle ear. The eardrum vibrates and moves the three bones, hammer, anvil, and stirrup. These bones shake and send vibrations into the inner ear. Inner ear. This is full of liquid and little hairs which move, letting you know there is a noise. All right, let me share my screen again, because then I'll be able to... Oh. Let's share it again, sorry. There we go, let's look at the questions now. So these are two of the questions that you would have to answer. The first one says, name one part of the ear. Now, because it says name, you can literally just write the word that will answer that question. So if I go back to my text, I can look and I can choose one part of the ear and write that as my answer. So let me go back. Oh, it's a bit fiddly going back and forth, but it's just so that you can see. So name one part of the ear, I'm going to choose outer ear. Now, our second question says, what is the inner ear full of? So I'm going to go back and we're going to find the information and I'm going to show you how you can use the question to help you with your answer. Let me just move that up slightly. So if I look at the subheading inner ear, it says this is full of liquid and little hairs which move, letting you know there is a noise. So my answer will be liquid and little hairs. Remember, you can highlight, highlight it or underline it to help you find the information on the text. Um, I'm not just going to write liquid and little hairs though. Let me show you how I'm going to form my answer. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm sharing that again now. Let me just have a look. There we go. So, what is the inner ear full of? I'm going to use part of that question to help me with my answer. And this is good because you can use the spellings as well. It makes it, makes it a bit easier. So I'm gonna start my answer. The inner ear, now I need to add a word here because otherwise it won't make sense. The inner ear is full of, and then I can use the information I found, which was liquid and little hairs. And I've tried to do it orally first. So I've tried to say it to make sure it makes sense. The inner ear is full of liquid and little hairs. Now that makes sense to me. So I'm going to now write my 
answer. I've got a capital letter for the start of my sentence. The inner ear is full of liquid and little hairs. What do I need at the end of my sentence? A full stop. There we go. So now I've got a full sentence to answer my question. What is the inner ear full of? The inner ear is full of liquid and little hairs. And these full sentences are what we're really going to be looking for today when you answer your comprehension questions. So we'd love to see your uploads on to Dojo later. Have a good day, you ones. Bye.